It's Basic Skills Day on Let's Celebrate TV. Today, it's all about seasoning with salt and pepper. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're gonna to learn all about salt and pepper. Let's get started. Now you're probably wondering, why are you teaching us about salt and pepper? We know how to salt our food. The truth is, most home cooks don't season their food properly. So, let's talk salt first. I have a couple different types of salts here. I have, in this dish, some kosher salt. Kosher salt is a little coarse ground. You can see in my hand that it's a little, kind of chunky looking. In this little dish, I have common table salt. And you see, it's much finer than the kosher salt. So really, what's the difference here? Chefs prefer to use kosher salt because it is chunkier. You can see where it's going, and a little bit of it goes a long way. The table salt we tend to not use that because it's very, very easy to oversalt something because it just disappears and then you don't know what you've added. So that's salt. What about pepper? Black pepper is kind of the exact opposite of salt. It's a little spicy, it's earthy, and it's kind of the yin and yang together. I like keeping two types around. I love these little grinders. You get a nice variety of peppercorns and I can control the coarseness of the grind. But I also like keeping just plain, finely ground black pepper around too. This is great when I'm making big sauces and soups and things. It's just easier to add this. So that's a little bit about salt and pepper. Now why do we add them to the food? Salt is a flavor enhancer. It's going to make whatever you're putting it to taste better. It makes sweeter things sweeter, savory things more savory. And if you do it properly, you don't taste the salt, you taste the food itself. So that's why we add salt. Pepper, we add that because it rounds out salt. It just gives it that little extra hug that it needs and it just balances everything for us, for our palates. So that's salt and pepper. Now, when do we add it? That's always a big question. For the most part, you want to add salt and pepper, especially salt, before you start cooking or at the beginning of cooking. For example, you've got a couple of big, beautiful steaks you're gonna put on the grill, hit them with salt and pepper a few hours beforehand, let them sit in the fridge and rest. What's gonna happen? They're gonna just soak up that seasoning and all that salt and pepper will go right inside. The salt will actually tenderize the steaks because it breaks down the cell walls. And then you're gonna have this delicious, delicious steak, not salty. Sometimes you add it during cooking or at the beginning of cooking. For example, you're making a stew or a sauce and you're adding in different ingredients. You hit each layer with some salt. Again, it just keeps it balanced. What about at the end or before you eat? Not very often. We will add salt at the end of cooking to things like french fries. Take the fries out of the hot oil, hit them with salt. Why? Because the oil is gonna melt the salt and it'll get absorbed right in. And really, the only time I add salt before I eat is to something like these fresh tomatoes that I have. A little bit of salt on this right before you eat them, delicious. How do we salt? That's a big question. How do we season with salt and pepper? A lot of people just take their salt shaker and shake it right here. No, 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 no. You wanna have a nice even layer. So if you use a little kosher salt, take a pinch, up high, up high, make it snow. And this way you can see where you're getting, you're getting a nice even coating everywhere. Now you're looking at me and you're going, oh, that's an awful lot of salt to add to those tomatoes. It really isn't, it isn't that much salt. And if I did that with a salt shaker or with the fine salt, yeah, it wouldn't be that good. 
but you want to add more than you think you need because you under season most of the time and this is all going to get soaked in. Same thing with the pepper, whether you're using the grind or from a shaker, a pie, and this way you can see where it's going. You're getting a nice coating everywhere. If you're down low, you're gonna get a dot here, a dot here, a dot here. This way it's everywhere. Now I'm gonna give you a little homework assignment. I have here two little hamburgers that I made up. I want you to do the same. Get some ground meat, whatever kind you like. Make yourself a couple hamburger patties. One of them, don't add any seasoning. Just cook it plain. The other, take some salt, up high, take some pepper, up high, both sides please. Just like that. Now we're gonna mix this in. I'm just going to break this back up, mix it around, pick up some of this from the board, and now, I have a burger that has seasoning all the way through it. Do this, cook that one plain, taste them both, and then write to me in the comment section on YouTube and let me know how it turns out. Which burger do you like better? The one that has seasoning all the way through or just the plain burger that you probably added salt to right before you ate it? Okay, if you like this episode and you learned something, hit that subscribe button hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. And we'll see you again Tuesdays at seven for our regular episodes and Fridays for our basic skills episodes. So until next time, you're all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.